And uh, Monday we were doing a show and we reviewed Raw and then we did a mailbag segment. And uh, a lot of people were asking about Mark Briscoe. Is Mark Briscoe going to be able to wrestle for AEW? And, uh, and you said no. Yep. And, uh, you know, when I asked the question, I asked the question because so many people had asked the question in the mailbag. I, 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 well, you know, I had asked the question like regularly that whole week. Well, or not I, regularly, but I had asked, I had asked a couple times during the week. For some reason, for some reason, because he had passed away so recently, I didn't expect that there would be an answer when I asked the question. I, I just asked and I thought you said, you know, I guess we'll see or whatever. And then you said no. Yeah. And I was, I was, I was gobsmacked. I mean, I, I, I couldn't even believe my ears. And I got mad. I was really mad the next morning. And then at 10 a.m. Pacific, Tony Khan tweeted out that, in fact, Mark Briscoe was going to be wrestling on Dynamite. And then you shortly thereafter tweeted that it's, it's, he's good to go now. Yeah, for permanently. Yeah. He's good and, to go. And that they were going to get to do a, a, a preview show. And it's almost like I a can't even. show. A tribute show. They, a tribute they, they show, were, yeah. Tribute they were allowed show. to do a tribute show, which they weren't allowed to do the week before, yeah. So yeah. I, it was just like, what a what a whirlwind 48 hours that was. It was a oh, yeah. fantastic, fantastic uh, tribute show between the video and the match. And oh, the video was so... Everybody getting to go out there, and, and man, it was so wonderful. It and, really was. Uh, they did a great job, yeah. A total 180 from when I woke up Tuesday and just thought, this world is just... A horrible well, place. It's still well, a horrible place, but that was really awesome. What happened on on Dynamite. The world, the, the world is more is is the world's got a lot of good. It's got some bad, of course. Yeah, I I um, I mean the whole thing is you have to credit that one to Tony Khan. I mean he pushed and pushed, and I mean he pushed really hard on this one and and got them to change their minds. Um, they were pretty dead set against it, and uh, you know I don't I don't know that the um you know a lot of the social media stuff i mean that possibly could have helped i mean it was a it was certainly a lot of people like we we said it like last wednesday but a lot of people had been saying all week like how do you ban um you know you know jay briscoe this was before the mark briscoe thing or not well the mark briscoe thing happened but people didn't know about it but the jay briscoe how do you ban jay briscoe when uh, mark briscoe you know how do you ban jay briscoe um when you know the the tribute the tribute show oh uh, yes how do you ban the tribute show when you're showing dana white on slap fighting who you know whatever i mean like dana white's mistake was december 31st uh 2022 uh jay's mistake and it was a big mistake but both of them were big mistakes um you know, was in 2013, and he certainly had apologized and atoned for it. And, you know, just read the article that I did, I mean, with the stuff from Ian Riccoboni and Effie and other people, um, you know, Carrie Silken and, you know, and and, and others, you know, that, that were just talked about the whole incident. I mean, it's, you know, nobody hid from the, nobody hid from that part of Jay Briscoe's life. Um, but he, and neither did he. So, um, you know, it was just... You know, it was the right thing to do, and I'm glad they got to do it. Um, you know, it took a lot, a lot, a lot of work to get it done, but it got done. And so that's the situation. So then we had Mark Briscoe and Jay Lethal in the Jay Briscoe tribute match. And Jay Lethal came out. He's just crying. Oh, and man. Mark comes out with both of the Ring of Honor tag team belts because he and Jay are still champions. And uh, they did the whole ring intro with Bobby Fish and Bobby Cruz. Bobby Cruz. I'm sorry, not Bobby Fish. Bobby Cruz. And then, uh, man, the fans were so into this match. They were so into Mark Briscoe. And the match itself was a great match. I mean, they were J Jay so Lethal. hard. Jay Lethal is, you know, this was one I mean, he really They're shined. both great. Yeah, I know. Jay Lethal really shined. I mean, look, you're you're. They did a great match considering, you know, you know, they're both like, you know, there's a lot of pressure on you to have this great match. You don't want to screw up, you know, this match of all matches. And, you know, Jay's out there, you know, basically half crying anyway. 
But um, I thought Jay Lethal did a great, great job in this match. And, and Mark, you know, um, Mark did a great job too, yeah. Dude, Mark was so great because, you know, the story of the Briscoes is they never had a big national television run. They were never in WWE. They were never in AEW. And, man, this guy showed up here and he worked this match. And the cra- he, he looked you know like a guy who'd been working on national TV for like two decades. I well, mean, he's been, he's his been wrestling poise for two and his, I mean, everything. I mean, he knows he what was, he's doing. He and he's, was look, he so was, great. I mean, look, they were they were on, you know, they were tag team champions in, in New Japan. And, and in Ring of Honor was television. I mean, they got. Well, them. sure. They've done television forever. But I mean. They've got the experience. The thing that I thought was so cool is it really showed, like, there were certain things that he did in the match. Like, the first time he was going for the J-Driller and the whole crowd popped. And it's like. For guys who were never on television, they sure knew Jay, Jay Briscoe's finishing move. I mean, I mean, it wasn't just like, you know, a small number. It's one of those things where, you know, sometimes um, the, the people who go to AEW shows, I mean, I think it's more, pre- more prevalent at the pay-per-views, but still, even at, at the shows, it's like, you know, you kind of think, oh, the... the um, the masses don't know these guys, but like when like the first bar of Minoru Suzuki's theme song when we were in um, what city we were in we were in, we were in uh, Chicago it was when they played you yeah yeah um, it's like it's like you know the different things where you go well there's going to be like you know thirty percent of the fans are going to know but the most of the fans aren't going to know because it's there's eleven thousand people here and there's not that many fans of Ring of Honor. You know, or fans of New Japan Pro Wrestling. Yet, it usually doesn't work that way. Um, it, it the 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 um, a lot of the people who go to the matches, a lot more than sometimes I think people give credit for, um, have an awareness. You know, they may not have watched Ring of Honor television, and they may not have gone to a lot of Ring of Honor house shows because Ring of Honor never drew that kind of crowd. Like the what you know. I mean, they never, they, well, Ring of Honor probably had two crowds bigger than, than the, uh, uh, yeah, two, probably two crowds in its history were bigger than this one, um, that what AEW drew tonight. But, um, but like Mark would do things where, where it's like, you have to know Jay Briscoe to know what he's doing and everyone knew or, or at least enough knew that it felt like the whole building knew, you know, I mean, it was, it was, uh. And, and, you know, of course, under the circumstances, the crowd's going to be so into Mark anyway. I mean, there was no way they weren't going to be under the circumstances, so that helped the match, too. But, um, you know, the the big thing, he did the, uh, the, uh, did elbow, the froggy elbow off the post off the through the table rope. outside. Yeah, a yeah. huge pop for that. They went in the ring, went back and forth, and then finally he hit the big J driller, got the pin, Everybody went nuts. The locker room came out on the stage. He went up the ramp. They hugged. He held up the belts. There was Daniels there and Whitmer, and it was just he awesome. he he hugged he hugged everyone. Everyone was there. The Young Bucks were there. Yeah, I mean it's basically the whole roster of both the Ring of Honor people that they brought in, and um, you know the uh, the AEW people, and uh, I mean it was exactly what it should have been. I mean it was the I mean, the finish, like, when this match started, it was like the finish had to be Mark Briscoe winning with the J-Driller. There was, like, no other finish you could do. I mean, and and they did it. And, you know, the, you know, it was it was so well done. Actually, the uh, they could have done the, uh, the froggy elbow because of the story that Delirious told where he goes, doesn't matter what I told him, they would do anything. Except every now and then I'd that, say to finish with the Jade Driller, and then Jade Jade say, "Can we do the Froggy Elbow instead?" And I'd say, "Sure." So, could have done that one as well as a tribute. But no, this was I this like was the, the Jade Driller. This was the show to do the Jade Jade Driller finish. There's no other finish you could have done. Poor Steffi. Every time she comes out, she gets poor Steffi. All right. Yeah. Any anyway, she, her and her dad were in the in the ring, and he was oh, going to give gonna her. It's going to be quite a review a, tonight. He was going to give her a trophy for something. <laughs> oh, the good old days. And then. Uh, Shane tells his dad he wants to run Monday Night Raw. <laughs> this is insane. Meanwhile, right. there's gigantic news in the world of wrestling that we're not talking about because we've got to talk about a Raw from 25 years ago. Yes, Granny? Can I stay long enough to hear what the news is? I know what it is. Well, we don't know what the news is officially, Granny, so just tune in tomorrow. 
No. <laughs> what a crummy show. Wow. <laughs> what do you want me to do about it? What the? <laughs> if you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.